Now we will discuss about the musculo tendinous or rotator cuff of the shoulder joint. Musculo tendinous or rotator cuff of the shoulder joint. Here in this diagram you can see this is subscapular fossa. This fossa is subscapular fossa. Here is supraglenoid tubercle. This is supraglenoid tubercle. Here is greater tubercle. This is greater tubercle. This is lesser tubercle. And this is biceptal groove. Here, a muscle is present that is long head of, this is long head of the biceps. And here is position of the capsule of the shoulder joint. This is capsule of the shoulder joint. This is edgy aspect. And here in subscapular fossa, there is attachment of subscapularis muscle. This is subscapularis muscle. This muscle is inserted on lesser tubercle. This is lesser tubercle and this muscle is inserted on lesser tubercle. So this muscle is subscapularis. This is anterior group. Now on the posterior aspect of the scapula, you will find here is this is spinous process, here is supraspinous fossa, here is infraspinous fossa, this is greater tubercle of the humerus. In supraspinous fossa, one muscle takes origin, that is supraspinous. This supraspinous muscle inserted on upper part of greater tubercle. This is upper part of the greater tubercle. There is capsule of the joint. And another muscle is attached with infraspinous fossa. This muscle is infraspinous. This muscle is inserted on greater tubercle just below the supraspinous. Here. This is supraspinous, this is infraspinous, and another muscle is teres minor. This is teres minor. It is attached on lower part. This is teres minor. So three muscles. Yes, I, T. Supraspinous, infraspinous, and teres minor attach on posterior aspect of greater tubercle. And anteriorly, a lesser tubercle, subscapularis is attached. These four muscles join to form musculotendinous cuff. So this is glenoid cavity. Here is this is glenoid cavity, and this is glenoid labrum. Here is capsule of. Shoulder joint, this is capsule of shoulder joint. This capsule is internally lined by synovial membrane. This is synovial membrane, which internally lines this capsule and this muscle, long head of biceps. Anteriorly, there is a gap through which this synovial Bill cavity communicate with a bursa. This bursa is subscapular bursa. Is it here? Now, this muscle subscapularis cross the cap joint. Here is position of subscapularis muscle. 
here is position of supraspinatus muscle here is position of infraspinatus and here is teres minor so tendon of all these four muscles joint with each other like this and also the joint with the capsule like this so these four muscles support the joint or extension the joint from anterior aspect superior aspect and posterior aspect in inferior aspect there is no such type of the arrangement so inferiorly this muscle is this joint is b this is the region for this dislocation of shoulder joint is common toward the subglenoid toward the inferior side of the glenoid cavity inferior side of the glenoid cavity so this is all about the musculo tendinous carpal tunnel cuff